Becoming familiar in the ground station software for efficient drone operation might take some training time. Our team at Autero knows that feeling pretty well and for this reason is dedicated to constantly improve the user experience of Autero Mission Control, the app that allows you to plan missions and control flight operations for all the Autero powered vehicles. With our latest release, we've made significant enhancements that will make flying and managing UAV operations more user-friendly, intuitive and high-performing than ever before. I'm Claudio Micheli, Engineering Manager of Alterion, and today I'm excited to share with you some enhancements that we have implemented in Alterion Mission Control to streamline and enhance your UAV operations. So let's dive in and see what's new in Alterion Mission Control. The first thing you'll notice when opening Alterion Mission Control is the onboarding wizard which will allow you to register your Alterion Power Vehicle in just a few steps. This will unlock the cloud features that can now directly be controlled from the AMC, like real-time telemetry data, automatic pictures upload, and live video feed to the Alterion Suite. In the Startup Wizard, it's also possible to select your preferred measurement unit system. We have taken steps to improve the usability of the Flyview. The sidebar and the compass rows have been redesigned to create more usable space on the map and make it easier for the users to navigate the interface. Moving to the sidebar, there is the quick actions which allow you to interact with the vehicle in perform operations such as takeoff, start mission and RTL. At the bottom, you can find two submenus, the vehicle actions and the map actions. By tapping on one of the two buttons, you can access extra functions. For example, for the vehicle extra actions, you can find the go to and orbit. And whereas if you go to the map actions, you have the possibility to load KMLs and use the measurement tools to interact with the map. The compass rose is another crucial component of the flyview. It provides real-time information on the orientation and attitude of the drone helping users to navigate and control the vehicle. The newly designed compass rows makes this information easier to read at one glance. By tapping on the altitude indicator, it is possible to switch between different reference systems, from relative to takeoff to MSL or AGL. This is really useful when dealing with airspace reconfiction operations. The plan view has been improved following the same principles as the fly view increasing the usable space to interact with the map and simplifying planning operations. You can now collapse the sidebar on the right to increase the map area when placing waypoints. Mission planning has been organized in three different sections, start, mission, end. Each of these sections allow you to interact with specific parameters that will define the behavior of the mission. The start section contains the default values that the mission will have in terms of waypoint altitude and flight speed. You can change uh, those settings also per waypoint by going in the next step. If we now want to add uh, a survey, we just need to select the survey item from the menu on the left side and place it on the map. This will basically create the mission and we can interact with parameters such as front overlap, side overlap and ground sampling distance that we want to achieve during our survey. And we can see and monitor how, for example, the number of pictures, the photo interval and the resolution of the survey is going to be affected by our changes in terms of flight, flight speed and altitude. Moving to the end tab, we can find the last action that the vehicle will perform. If you feel you need a geofence in your survey, you can just navigate to the extra section and add a geofence. This will guarantee that the vehicle will not exit the boundaries that you have defined. Once you're ready with the mission, you can just hit upload and then you're all set. You can just go out and fly the mission. From the fly view, you can access the camera view. In this view, you can see the video feed of the payload and uh, through the controls on the right hand side of the screen, you can interact with directly with the payload. You can switch between video and photo, take pictures and also access extra settings. One cool addition in the latest AMC is 
the ability to change the gimbal speed. This will allow you to have more control on the object you're trying to frame. Looking at the top of the fly view, you can find a bar which represents the remaining flight time. On the same bar is also visualized the point at which the vehicle will perform an automatic return to launch due to the battery fail safe. We hope you have enjoyed this sneak peek session into the latest version of Aterion Mission Control. Thank you for watching and see you in the Aterion Clouds.